Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Today, we are discussing the Rolex with Perpetual Datejust 41, reference 126331 in the combination of Ever Rose Red Gold and 904L Stainless Steel. The Datejust 41 succeeded the old Datejust 2 in 2016, better proportioned and powered by a new movement, but still with the wrist presence for those who want a larger date just than a traditional 36. So this is 41 millimeters in diameter. It is 11.8 millimeters thick. It is 47.4 millimeters from lug tip to lug tip with a 21 millimeter spacing between the lugs. The watch wears well on my wrist, which is 16 centimeters in circumference. In fact, it's a lot easier to wear than the date just two. The date just two only came with an oyster bracelet and it had solid end links which meant it was often as broad as 53 millimeters across the wrist. This at just 47.4 millimeters across the wrist and eight, well, 11.8 millimeters thick. It is very thin and it is very short across the wrist. So sub 48 across the wrist, I could recommend this watch for a wrist as small as 14 centimeters in circumference. And at under 12 millimeters thick, I can recommend it for a tight sleeve or dress cuff. The bracelet is the Jubilee. Again, you could not get this on the day just two. You could only get the Oyster. The Jubilee was born in 1945 on the original Datejust. So these two things were effectively created for each other and together. It was called the Jubilee Bracelet because that was the 40th anniversary or Jubilee of Rolex 1945. Now it's a very solid design as we have center links that are solid. And so although it's a short link, small link dress style bracelet, it has the solidity you would require on a sports bracelet. So you don't need the oyster here. Removable links are fixed by screws. There are plenty of gaps between the links for easy ventilation. We have a deployant clasp that is made of thick gauge steel as well as rose gold. Rolex makes its own alloys. It makes its own rose gold and its own steel. It makes its cases, clasps, and bracelets. 904L steel is just as hard as 316, but that's not why they use it. They use it because it is highly resistant to corrosion, and it does not need to be rinsed after seawater exposure. Ever Rose, rose gold, is forever rosy. It has a higher percentage of platinum, so it won't fade over time, and a higher percentage of copper, so it is redder. We have a 5mm snap-in, snap-out, easy-link, tool-free adjustment inside the clasp, and we have a set of three divots inside the clasp that can be used for changing the anchoring point of the bracelet. And that allows you to fine tune the fit. So easy link, removable links, and those divots, you will find the right fit. The case is lithe, broad, sinuous and sexy. It's not the super case from the sports watches. It has compound curves, full high polish, and lovely tapered lugs. We've got a screw down twin lock crown in gold, 100 meters of water resistance, and a faceted rose gold bezel. We have a dial that is a metallic brown sunburst design with rose gold hands, Rolex crown, and indices. Because they're gold, they won't fade, oxidize, or tarnish over time. The watch includes a Cyclops eye magnifier, and there are two subsidiary setting modes, one of which is hacking seconds. Everything stops. Now you can easy synchronize to a reference time, and you also have a quick set system, so you can rapidly cycle the date. We have plenty of loom. Not all date justs are loomed. This one is, and it uses Rolex's own chromolite blue loom. Turn the watch over, there's nothing to see. Oyster case back, but that does help make the watch thinner. So inside, caliber 3235, bi-directional automatic winding. The old jeweled staff rotor has been replaced with a ball bearing rotor, much more shock tolerant. To that end, there's a full balance bridge and a free sprung balance for shock resistance. The hairspring is a Breguet overcoil to help the watch keep excellent time in every position, both during the COSC chronometer test, which it passes, and Rolex's in-house six position test, as a fully cased up watch, wherein the timepiece must keep time to within minus two plus two seconds per day over 24 hours. That is the basis for that term superlative chronometer. The overcoil is also made of a blue oxidized niobium zirconium alloy that is highly anti-magnetic. So the watch is water resistant, shock resistant, and highly anti-magnetic. It is an eight beat per second movement. It pivots on 31 joules. Everything in the movement is made by Rolex, right down to the shock protection and the lubricants themselves. And it is a manufacturer Rolex caliber with a an automatic winding 70 hour power reserve. Reach out to Tmaso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.